I'm gonna eat myself. Hey guys, Millie here. Welcome back to another Minecraft mod showcase or review or whatever you want to call it. But anyway, today we are reviewing the Shapeshifter mod by Zakuk or Zakuk. Zakuk. Um, anyways, what it is is it allows you to shapeshift. Basically, it's quite good. I will show you the crafting recipes first and then we will get to the shapeshifting. It also lets you do the abilities of the mobs, which is pretty cool. So does not require forge or mod loader yet i think he might be implementing that because if so if i ever done a modded survival or i made a mod pack i would have this mod in it because it's that it's like amazing okay so firstly we have the shape shifting bone and to do and to craft this you need four bones two iron ingots two glowstone dust and one rotten flesh to make the shape shifting bone Basically, what the shape shifting bone does is it allows you to basically um, go through all of the shape shifting. So yeah, but you got to cycle through it, which is a bit lame, really. So yeah. Anyways, moving on to the next one. The next bone is the shape shifting ability bone, and to craft this, you need one shape shifting bone and one blaze rod. And what this does is it allows you to do that ability of that mobs so it's quite cool anyway next we have the original shape shifting rod and to craft this you need six diamonds two gold ingots and one shape shifting bone crafted just like that and i will show you what all of these do just now so let me just grab them oh i just started cycling through them anyway as you can see just um next to my hotbar i wish i had turned on my mouse for this recording but oh well um, right now I am a sheep. Um, what the sheep's ability is to drop wool of that colour sheep. So you can have a whole bunch of coloured sheep. Let's see if I can find another sheep. You know, let me just change anyway. Yeah, yes, yeah, so as you can see this one allows you to cycle through all of the mobs. Oh yeah, as you can see you can be the wither and the dragon. And yeah, so anyways, moving on. Uh, you guys saw the shape shifting ability bone. I will demonstrate them all. I just wanted to show you the cycling through. Now this one, the harder one to craft, I personally prefer because oh yeah, um, the ability bone does have durability. So show you it quickly. See, has a oh nom 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 nom. I'm gonna eat myself. But yeah, um. So, the original shapeshifting rod allows you to just choose whatever mob you want, basically. So, I will go through them all. So, I will go to the bat all the way down. I'll probably save the dragon for last because that's the coolest. But, anyway, so, got a lot of mobs here, so let's do it quickly, shall we? So, first mob we've got is the bat. Bat's special ability is vampire mode. And what vampire mode does is, I don't know because because um, I couldn't find properly anything to do with it. It just looked like a cool mod and I wanted to have some surprises. So if we get like another pig here, like so. Should I go into it? <laughs> ah! Nom, nom. What's vampire mode then? Vampire mode where you can't. Oh, vampire modes where you can't fly. I think. No, you can fly. Um, yeah, I don't know what vampire mode is, but I'll try and find out, and I'll probably put it in the description if I could find anything on it. Anyways, next up we got the chicken. The chicken's special ability is eggies. Hello, chicken. Um, anyways, next ability, well next thing is the, I'll probably save all the hostiles for last, golem. The golem looks pretty cool. Oh yeah, another thing to note is it sometimes changes the, yeah, it changes the height of the mob. But I'm noticing that there's a small glitch in these, like, three block high mobs. 
basically because they ain't really changing it's just player height but hopefully it sh but, it, but it might not be just me well it might not be just me but it might just be me so you never know anyways the ability is spawning more golems yeah <laughs> this whoa who knew a pickaxe I didn't know a pickaxe done that if it did, I would start freaking taking these out one by one. Wait, are you all after me? No? Good. Um, I want to see if they will attack me when I shapeshift. Um, yep, anyways, continuing on. The next mob we have is the Ocelot. And the Ocelot's special ability is... Making little kitties! Come here, come on! It's not that. Hello, Matthew! Who's this? Krusty after Krusty the Clown from The Simpsons. That's good. Ocelot. Who are you? Hello, Skittlehead. Hello, Picklepus. The these names though. Sepharium. See, these are the names you would never legitly call yours, mine, and ours. Yeah, you would never call a cat or anything them. Anyways, next we have the player, so you can just change back. Uh, the villager. Uh, just another thing to note. There are other colours and different types. Um, but anyways, um, the special ability for the villager is... Dem loots! So yeah, you get loots like that from the villager. Pretty cool, I guess. Um, next up we have the cow. Just cooked beef, really. Um... And we got the nope, we're going to s the horse. So as you see, the horse has got no ears. I think there's a little jumping glitch with the horse. I can't really tell. But anyways, um, the horses. So you, as you can see you can run fast. Which I guess is pretty cool. And the horse is special, but no ability yet. Ow! Haha! <laughs> Killing them horse. Anyways, next ability, next um, mob is the pig. I showed you actually. Uh, the sheep I showed you. Squid. The squids is. Dem sacks. That's no, something wrong. Um, is that now the wolf? The wolf can. The wolf can be aggressive if you hit it. So, but it's a tamed wolf, so I'll keep this on the regular mobs. Uh, non hostile, and it's best. Oh, oh, holy shit! Honestly, I didn't look at the wolf because I thought it was just gonna be boring, but you know what? I, I would use this if I'm ever traveling. Why are they following me? No, you shall leave me alone. I command you to leave me alone. Yep, yeah, anyways, next up, we'll do the hostile mobs, I guess. So we've got the creeps. Um, thing to note with the creeper is you can explode them animals when you don't want them. So there we go. I just saved a whole life problem of kitties. I mean, like you can just basically—I don't want to break all much here, so you just basically spam click it like that. I would say use this for mining 100% or even just building I mean like if you had a bit of world edit world edit is not that good <laughs> unless you have the right tips for making a river look naturally gener generated so if I was to ever want to make a river look natural I would definitely use this I mean like just look at it look I mean like obviously you'd have to do some little t bits to it but yeah, um, it looks cool. So, oh, I want to do an explosion in that tree. Oh, tr I'm gonna knock down that tree. There we go. Um, yeah. So, anyways, the next one is the um Enderman, and the Enderman's trick is I don't is pretty cool, I guess. Teleportation. For some reason I can't always get it to work unless I'm sprinting like so. But yeah, so you could just teleport over to here. Um, um, 
Ow, I wasn't very kind, but yeah. I guess that's pretty oh god. Yeah, and you don't take full damage properly. I wanna go back to my chests. Click, there we go. Anyways, next up we've got the magma cube and the magma cube's special ability. Oh yeah, there's also different sizes I think. Yeah, I can't really get that to work. I think there's no different sizes you get. They should make. They should, once you click on a mob, they they should change. They should have a size menu. And the magma cube's ability is to set shit on fire. So hey, I'ma burn down this jungle. Yeah, so if you wanted to clear out like a jungle or a forest really fast, this is your best bet, I would say. I mean, like, if someone, if this was in like the old fire spread where you could not put it out and it spread really fast, this would all be gone, pretty much. But yeah, let's just pretend we weren't over here. Um, and you also get the jumping animations, which is pretty cool. Um. Um, I'm thinking, if you get the better animations mod than this, would you have the better animations? I'm not too sure. But I don't think uh, they're compatible together yet, I'm not sure. Because, yeah. Anyways, moving on. The next one is the Silverfish. And the Silverfish's ability is spawn more silvers. Hello, my brothers. And then, as soon as I... Ch yeah, so, as you can see, you're... You're not an enemy to them, but as soon as you change back to a player, they all hate you. No, I'm one of you, my friends. No need to hate on me. But, yeah. Anyways. Moving on. Um, Next up, we have the slam. And the slams... I could have sworn I got a giant slime earlier. Oh, yeah, so there are different sizes. Um, Oh, the slime. I'm not sure about the magma slime. But anyways, if we just click... You can spawn other slimes! Woohoo! See, you could just use this for like if you need pistons and such. Anyways, moving on. Um Spider. Spider's ability. Put down webs and I think he can climb walls, yeah. He can, so let's just try it. Yep, your ability to climb walls is here. I know that they can climb before, but I just want to see if it's just infinite. Yes, it's infinite, so you could just basically do this. Have your home just there. And then you can just scale it. And then if you wanted to go back down safely and you needed a lot of string, you could just do that as a player, of course, and then you could go safely and on your way. So yeah, anyways, <clears throat> next one is the Wither. And the Wither you can fly, and it's special ability is to shoot for them skulls. But yeah, um, anyways, I don't really like the Wither. It's not really something I'd use in survival. Ow! Ow, you burn in the sun, shit. Um, yeah, I'm gonna activate the game mode C for this one, as you can see. Your ability is to be a zombie pigman. It's quite cool, I guess. Um, I would prefer to be a s the pigments burn in sunlight because, but they don't get damaged. No, they don't. So you could be the pigman during the day and the zombie at night. Oh God, I'm gonna start burning. No, you don't. Um. Anyways, next up, we've got the blaze, and the blaze can fly, and its special ability is to. Shoot them fireballs. Um, yep, that's pretty good. Next up, we've got the. No, we'll skip the one. The gas is practically the same as the um, blaze, except it's got sounds. Well, the blaze also has the sounds, I think. I didn't really hear it though. Oh, yeah, another cool thing is it changes on there. No, I don't think places have sounds that much. I know they have the sort of like that's that. Sa uh, oh yeah, I totally forgot to show you guys the mushroom. I'll quickly just show you the mushroom. The mushroom special ability is sorry for that clock is um mushrooms. Yeah, pretty much. 
That's good, I guess. I would have the ability for mushrooms. How's our burning going? Pretty good. Um, cheap skeleton. The skeleton, for some reason you're a wither skeleton. And as you can see, there's a free block high. But, however, the wither skeleton's thing is to shoot arrows, so... Yeah. There's, like, infinite arrows until this breaks, but these are quite easy to craft. They're not very resource-demanding, and... Um, because although you have to go to never for the glowstone they ain't really resource demanding because you could just find glowstone anywhere well no you, not anywhere but you know um anyways next up we got i didn't tell you just snowman did i places snow and his special ability is to throw them balls that's right he throws them snowballs um shit you after me ow no I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. Ow. I'm actually going to die. Oh, dear Jesus. Dude. Pig. Ah. Oh. oh, yeah. And another thing. Um, you die as the... When you respawn, you're that mob. So, if you're like a silverfish when you die, you're pretty much screwed. Because that's uh, not a really good mob. If I was to ever die... I would want to be the pig for so I have food. Anyways. I just want the blue. There we go. No, I'm not really bothered about the other stuff, but I'll just collect it anyway. Anyways, the next thing is the witch. And what the witch does is it. Where's my ability bone? Ability bone. There you are. Anyway, the ability bone for the witch is basically potions of. I don't know what if it's a potion of, like. Try going up. Let me try taking some damage. Nope. I just don't know what it's a potion of. Does it just throw it at people and just. Oh. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. No, 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 no. No. No, you're not allowed, okay? It's not very nice now, is it? How would you feel if I'd done that to you? You wouldn't like it, would you? But anyways, now it's time for the big boss. It's the ant... No, why am I using that? Well, that's another one, but... So that's another bone for it. Um, sort of does the same thing as far as I know. I think it is the same. Just it's a bone. And there's no crafting recipe that I found, so yeah. Anyways, the ability of the Ender Dragon. You can fly in survival. And the thing that I found really cool is if you start doing that, you can make him glitch and his tail just spazzes out. But anyways, if you go up quite high, which I will do, actually I'll show you the ability first. The ability to shoot fireballs. I guess it's pretty cool. Um, let's just start a fire again. Um, I think what I found really cool to do was when I get up to 300, just to be sure I can do it. You sort of do, you sort of go onto your back. Okay, it'd be cool if you've done a. F well, they're still falling. Okay, it'd be cool if you've done a full backflip. I guess, but you know can't really do anything about that and this whole mod has just destroyed this entire area but well yeah um i guess that was the shapeshifter z what was it oh, oh my sign's still there oh yeah another thing to notice is the ender dragon does have a hitbox it does have a hitbox radius sort of thing i think they all do but see i can't walk any further i'm sprinting with all my might can't walk so you've got to jump which i guess is pretty cool but yeah, thank you, Mr. Zach Uke. I'm sorry if I'm not pronouncing that right. For the shape zif for the shape shifter Z mod. Brilliant mod. I would highly recommend it for any survivalist. And I guess I'll see you guys next time. Be sure to um join my Oh shit, is the end dragon stuck in the cobweb? <laughs> so 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 be sure to subscribe, join the worm army. I would love to have more of you. Um and I'll see you guys for another mod review sometime. So be sure to join the server in the description. It's my friend's server. It's basically, yeah.
My friend server. It's a good server. It's bog realms. It's, yeah, it's bog monsters. Server. So I guess I'll see y'all next time, Mr. Iron Golem. We will have a friendly hug to say goodbye. Goodbye.